what we do and how life is on the road. And um, first of all, um, it's definitely um, we're a band who has a heartbeat um, for people, and uh, we're very passionate about music. All these guys are amazing musicians, and uh, we've got we have a lot of fun on stage. But our number one goal um, is to get out there and reach people. Um, with truth and with hope, and uh, especially on this record that's coming out in September, it's called Love. And uh, one of our statements is, um, if we could love, we could change the world. And uh, it's just the thread that goes throughout the whole record that, um, you know, it's also a challenge for us, you know. Um, it's a challenge for her to love me. It's a challenge to love me. Love me. <laughs> yes. And for you to love them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He has uh, permanent allergies. He gets sick all the time on the road. I mean, all the time. Every <laughs> 10 minutes. He's like taking shots at Pepto Bismol throughout the day. <laughs> no, but I mean, I think one thing, you know, it's a band that we want to accomplish is, is along with, you know, giving people hope, is just to really step up, like, musically and all. All go like the next level and be the best performers that we can possibly be. I 
I was like, God, okay, you're everywhere I go. I mean, I can see you, you know, in creation. I can see you in, you know, strangers smile on the street, the stars in the sky. I see you everywhere. But at this moment, I need you right here, right now. I know that God is omnipresent and he won't leave us or forsake us. But it was just a moment where I had to believe regardless of how I felt. And um, that was, I mean, we've gone through a lot as a band in the past, you know, year, year and a half. And so that was written out of like a moment of just sheer faith, you know, as a man that we're going to believe God for what he's promised us and the vision he's given us, you know, regardless of how we feel. So that is, that's like, I think that's one of all of our favorites. Um, so I know, I know, so. It's really cool because, like, I mean, like, just as far as for all of us, like, I know for me personally, like, you know, I, I, I like everything from, like, Steve Ray Vaughn to George Strait to, like, All Out Boy, you know? <laughs> it, it's such a, such a different, you know? It, it's really cool because you got, you know, he loves more just more guitar-driven stuff, and I love <clears throat> just straight-ahead R&B, you know, like, you know, your Anita Baker, your uh, Gladys Knight, you know, the old-school stuff, and, I, I just love everything. Mm -hmm. Tejano. Jazz. Jazz Tejano. Jazz Tejano. Latino. Latin. Tejano. Tejano. Let everything be a I think pro probably, you know, just what she's talked about is, you know, the girls that wanted to respect themselves and there, you know, there's a track in there called We Will Live and about just to live life to its fullest and, and, and you know there, there's something for everybody on there you know whether you're going through life and it sucks and you're going man I don't know what to live for there's that something if you lost someone then you know there's a I miss you song and having trouble respecting yourself there's the you know respect song there's something for everybody on there and then we have some just fun songs like there's a song called Old School and, this, and the song on the show you know let's talk about being on the road and traveling so wherever you're at you pretty much grab something from one of the yeah, tracks that are on there yeah, we just really want it to be a, like a personal record, you know? Because you listen to some records and, you know, the artist is just trying to be so, like, out there and so creative. It's just, you know, yeah, it's entertaining, but there's something, like, when a record grabs you, you know, you look at, like, the great records of all time, you know, they really, you know, would had emotional songs on there and, you know, you were able to connect to them. And that's what we want, you know, this record to be able to do, you know, to be able to listen to a song, and, you know, if you can relate your life to it, you know, like the, give yourself a little respect, you know, like, that's one of the, you know, the lines in the song. And if you can connect to that, if you can connect to live, um, the song for the followers is on there. And that's a huge one that I know um, will just be really strong for a lot of people. Because, you know, a lot of fathers aren't in the homes these days, and that's just, it's a huge issue, it's a problem. And, um, and so, I, if, you know, if you can listen to the CD and grab hold of something, we just want you to go away, you know, walk away from listening to the record, you know, feel like you've connected, you know, some way and having more of a personal connection with, you know, God and whatever. Because every, every one of our songs, you know, obviously has God in there and, you know, you can find it and just make it a personal connection. Marcus and I play guitar and wake up in a bad mood and dance from Charlie's Phone the Dog. Hey, uh, let's start hey, over. Hey, we're in Avid and I'm Sarah. I'm Marcus. I'm Chad. And I'm Charlie. And we make up this crew. So <laughs> check out a new record, hit the street. Holler for the people's 29. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs>